What is the problem with individual guitar effects pedals? Well, nothing. They add a solution for what you want, whether that's delay or reverb or maybe a preamp. But when you start getting a couple of them, then a problem starts happening where your pedal board just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Now this isn't an effects process, this is a looper, but that's the same kind of size. So this is the Boss RC5. And of course they have loads of single pedals that have this solution, this kind of size. They're not big, but when you have your cables going in and out from one side to another, and you have three or four effects, the size of your pedal board starts getting bigger by the minute. So a solution could be potentially this. This is the Sonic Wood Sonic Bar. This is a one-stop gig solution for acoustic guitarists. Now just to put it into context, and I'm not dissing Boss at all for their pedals, but this is the size difference. And on this bar we have the following, a preamp, a chorus, a delay, and a reverb. So what's really clever about this is obviously the size. You can see here, this is the size of my hand. It's actually really small. But to show it to you here, it's a little bit out of context, but it's 26 centimeters long by six centimeters high. And it weighs just 480 grams. Now, just like any normal pedal, you plug in by jack on the back here and you go out by jack, but you've also got XLR as well. That's really handy, certainly if you go into a DI or you're plugging into a studio. So we start with the preamp and the preamp has its own volume and you've got a bass and treble control. So a two band EQ giving you a nice warm tone. Then moving over to the chorus, we have level, depth and rate, and you can even hold down to tap tempo. Same with the delay. You can hold down to tap tempo with this and we've got the blend, we've got the repeat and the time. And then finally we have our reverb. You can hold down for the tail and we've got the amount of mix between the guitar and the reverb itself. What I like about this is the simplicity. I could just take this one thing as opposed to taking like a little pedal board and it's nine volt DC in. So let's plug it in now. And there's no on off switch, but when we turn these on, you get these nice little indicators all in different colors. So the preamp is yellow, the chorus is blue, the delay is in green and the reverb is in red. So it's a real nice indication when it's on the floor and you're looking down, you can see which ones are active because the dials actually light up. And yes, these are actually dials as well. So these are how you dial in your sound. Now, if you were to look at any kind of pedal that's got a preamp and then another pedal that's a delay, another pedal that's a chorus, and another pedal that's a reverb, the price can actually start getting quite high. And this is why I wanted to test this because this comes in just under $80. Now, if you just need a chorus and you just need a delay and you just need a preamp and you don't want hundreds of effects, you wanna keep it nice and simple, this is a fantastic option. With their Sonic bars, they don't stop at just the acoustics. You've got a couple of others. You have the Rock Stage, you have the Twiggy Blues, the Black Hammer, and the Boom app as well. All of them have their independent controls and all of them have both Jack and XLR out. The fact you can hold these to tap tempo is great. I love that because you don't have to then bend down to change the timing. I find the timing and rate of these two a little bit too sensitive, but the fact you can tap tempo, the delay, that's probably the most important thing. So for example, to change the tap tempo, let's just hold the delay down. You can see it's flashing and that is the BPM. So it's going one, two, three, four, and if I go on two, three, four, one, two, three, four, it'll just stay there. Now you can have that flashing and just leave it and it'll be permanently playing, and then you can hold it down and just get out of there, and then you can turn it off. Same for the chorus, if I turn the chorus on, and we can hold down for tap tempo, and just give us a flash there to show you the rate. One, two, three, four, and then hold it down it'll go solid, which means that's locked in, and then I can turn that off. This is a great little device. If you just want to plug an acoustic guitar into this, have a couple of effects and maybe put that into a looper. So let's bring our RC5 back. And what we can do is if we put the RC5 next door to this, and now what we've got is acoustic guitar multi-effects that's not too big, would fit in a pedal board nice and smooth. It's a real cool little thing. Now Sonic 8 just don't stop there. They do do individual ones, which are mini stomp boxes. And there's an absolute load of them that you can pick up from them. And 
they start around the $35 mark. Of course, some of them have more controls and go much, much higher than that, but for just shy of $80 for four controls that I'd pretty much use all the time for an acoustic guitarist, I think that's perfect, except for one more thing. One of the mini stomps that Sonic X sent to me is this. And this is their Sonic ABY. So it's an ABY switcher, so I can actually plug in one thing and then go to two different places. Or how I'm gonna to look to use it is plug in two different guitars and send it to this. So I have two different guitars. I have one in normal tuning, I have another one in dadgad. So let's just change this over, move this across. Let's put the Sonic bar in the middle. And what I'm gonna do is just gonna put that there in the middle. So the way I'd look at this is as follows. My two guitars would go in here and the output of the Y would actually go into here, which means I can plug both guitars in, I don't have to unplug and make a nasty bump noise, plug it into the Sonic Bar, and then the Sonic Bar goes into the looper. Now the only slight downside with this setup, with our little looper here, is actually the Sonic Bar. The Sonic Bar is DC powered only. These two could be battery powered. Considering it's nine volts, I would have really liked to see maybe a nine volt battery option or an internal battery that you can recharge. That way we can have our little setup completely portable and I don't need to worry about the mains. Maybe in the future, they'll bring in a version that is nine volt battery powered internally or has an internal battery that you recharge. But apart from that, these are fantastic little devices. I just want to thank Sonic 8 for bringing these out to my attention. And of course, as usual, I've left links in the description box if you want to go and check them out. And right now, at the moment, on their website, they do have a summer sale, which is 15% off. So go and have a look at things like the Sonic Bar and all the different pedals. And let me know, would you use something like this? Would you use their mini stomp boxes? Let me know in the comment section below. Now, all of this is an acoustic setup, and this would be going out to an acoustic amp. If you want to see a very impressive acoustic amp, which is now my favorite, check out this video here.